Hi, I'm Alex Rosen. I'm here to talk to you today about the SOA for Architects class at the upcoming SOA conference. I'm excited to be doing this as my previous classes with Brainstorm have generated great discussions and I've had uh, a lot of fun sharing the knowledge that I've developed over a number of years of focusing on service-oriented architecture. Currently, I head up the Enterprise Architecture Solutions Group at a consulting firm called Momentum SI. We've been helping enterprises with SOA adoption for more than five years now. We've developed strategies and roadmaps, uh, updated methodologies, built reference architectures and implementations, helped with the selection and integration of SOA infrastructure, and of course we've built service-oriented solutions for our customers as well. It's been a lot of fun, and we're excited to share what we've learned with other architects through these interactive training sessions. Let's talk about the specific objectives of this course so you can determine if it would be of value to you. This is really a course for architects. We sometimes get technical managers and developers in the course, and they also gain a lot. But the course has a good distribution of the what, the why, and the how of SOA. We explain the core concepts and principles of service-oriented architecture, and some of the topics we delve into include what really is a service, how do web services fit into SOA, and which of the advanced web services standards really matter, what are service contracts and policies, and what are some of the risks to this SOA approach. Once we understand the base concepts around SOA, we shift gears for a bit and focus on why enterprises pursue the use of SOA. And this is really critical, as a lot of the architects I've talked with, they approach, but have difficulty identifying and articulating the business impact. So we cover a number of different scenarios which are sure to expand your thinking around the practical benefits of SOA. When we get into the how of SOA, we discuss adoption strategies that we've seen in the field and their merits. Um, we discuss our maturity model that will help you to think about all of the areas that will eventually need to be addressed during a successful SOA adoption. And we also dig into the technology infrastructure decisions that a lot of architects wrestle with, such as do we need a registry and when, or what is an enterprise service bus and when might, might not we want to use one in our SOA. Since the course is aimed at architects, we also describe some of the core SOA patterns and where they apply. And finally, as we round out the discussion of the how to do SOA, we address the methodology implications of a service-oriented approach. As you can probably gather, a lot of ground is covered in this course. However, we really tune the course on the fly based on the needs of who's in the room, and we make it very interactive to answer as many of the questions you bring in the door or questions you identify during the presentation. Let me just emphasize a few of the key points, including what you will take away from this course. First, although you may have some knowledge of SOA already, this course will give you a more complete understanding. It will also help you see how SOA can be used to provide value in your particular context. Next. If you are working to support SOA adoption in your enterprise, the more complete understanding we provide, combined with the experiences we'll share from the field, will help you in creating or validating your plans. Even if you aren't the person responsible for making these plans, this knowledge will help you recognize where your enterprise might be weak so you can be successful within the constraints you have. The course will help you sort out the technologies involved in SOA. A lot of organizations are hearing a lot about SOA from product vendors, and each has their own reason why you need to bring in their technology. We'll help you think about the needs from a strategic architecture perspective to support better decision making and reduce your risk. Beyond the infrastructure, we'll also look at application architectures and how they change in an SOA world. I think that besides the core content, the fact that our team is working with dozens of enterprises adopting SOA provides a huge benefit to participants in this course. We all need to understand the theory as a baseline, but learning from others' mistakes and successes is hugely valuable. I'm very proud of the comments we've received from students of this course in the past. Some of them have found the content and information so valuable that they have asked my team to come work with them further on their SOA efforts, and that's a great endorsement for us. I look forward to teaching the class and making it very valuable for everyone who comes, so I hope you will attend.
Thanks for listening to this presentation. The course I've been describing is held as part of SOAinstitute.org's Certificate of Training Program. Visit the website for more details and to register for this course. I look forward to seeing you at an upcoming class.